Yeah, Pluto so why, had. Why do you think people want to name it a Pluto? Uh, planet Pluto again? had it coming from the beginning. It was. It was like it was never really below. Pluto's orbit crosses that of another planet. That's no kind of behavior for a planet. Was our moon Just, a planet? No, it's a moon. If you pick up a science textbook published before 2006, you'll notice that it includes Pluto as one of the nine planets in our solar system. But things have changed since then. Nearly 17 years ago, the International Astronomical Union made a controversial decision to strip Pluto of its planet status. And now, the IAU is facing scrutiny once again because NASA has released clear images of the supposedly dwarfed planet. Join us as we delve into these groundbreaking images, which offer the clearest view of Pluto we've ever had. With each new technological leap, we embark on an exciting journey in our quest for space exploration. While we've made significant strides since the Apollo 11 mission to the Moon, the vastness of space presents us with countless unanswered questions. This is where NASA's pioneering projects play a crucial role. As the James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, seeks to uncover new frontiers, it also serves as a significant step forward in advancing upon NASA's previous missions. There's a notable interest in deciphering ancient celestial discoveries. Naturally, we're eager to delve deeper into understanding the origins of the Big Bang and how our solar system evolved to support life on one of its planets. However, JWST has its sights set on the future as well. Is our solar system undergoing significant changes? And if so, should we revisit our established beliefs about the universe and potentially reassess them? This is where the contentious issue of Pluto re-emerges in the realm of space exploration. Thanks to the Hubble Space Telescope and its groundbreaking findings, we now have greater opportunities to explore the depths of our solar system. The significant $10 billion investment appears to be paying dividends for NASA, and it appears that science textbooks may need updating to reflect our expanded knowledge of Pluto. Perhaps this time, Pluto could even regain its planetary status. Here's the rationale. Our understanding of Pluto today goes beyond the controversial decision of 2006. It's fueled by the renewed exploration efforts of JWST. The clear images provided by NASA have offered much needed visual evidence to complement our theoretical understanding of Pluto. While previous observations were useful in classifying celestial bodies, the International Astronomical Union IAU, had limited data to rely on. As the saying goes, pictures or it didn't happen, highlighting the importance of tangible evidence, following the 2006 decision, there were essentially two scientific perspectives. One group believed the IAU acted hastily in reclassifying Pluto as a dwarf planet, while others quickly accepted its new status. Space explorers, for the most part, have remained uncertain about the matter. However, with the ongoing discoveries made by the James Webb Space Telescope JWST, the question of Pluto's classification has resurfaced. NASA's recent release of clear and definitive images of Pluto is reshaping our understanding of the cosmos. The primary human encounter with Pluto was made possible by the New Horizons mission which is now in its 17th year. In July 2015, the mission successfully completed its main objective, passing by Pluto and its array of satellites. This marked the first time humans had a close-up view of this distant celestial object, allowing for the comprehensive collection of data about its moons and surface. New Horizons, pioneering in its own right, opened up new avenues for NASA to explore the depths of the deep Kuiper belt. Recognising the importance of gaining a deeper scientific understanding of planets within the orbit of Neptune and nearly 50 astronomical units from the Sun, NASA embarked on this groundbreaking mission. The mission's crowning achievement was its close flyby of Pluto and its largest moon, Charon. It also provided clear images of Pluto's other four satellites, Nix, Hydra, Styx and Kerberos. The entire data gathering process, including the encounter with Pluto and Charon, spanned 15 months, with the mission collecting a total of 6.25 gigabytes of data by October 25, 2016. 
So, what significance does this data hold for NASA's understanding of Pluto? Well, let's start at the beginning. The New Horizons mission was truly groundbreaking, pushing scientists to develop entirely new models to interpret the data gathered from this distant world. Over the years, Pluto's surface and atmosphere have undergone fundamental changes, challenging our previous understanding. Despite Pluto being downgraded in status, it's evident that the planet remains anything but inactive. In fact, it's evolving at a pace that has NASA scrambling to update its knowledge. New Horizons marked a significant milestone nearly eight years ago with its historic encounter with Pluto. Since then, advancements in space exploration, particularly with the James Webb Space Telescope, have revolutionized our capabilities. The possibilities seem boundless, with distant missions venturing deeper into the solar system now on the horizon. It's a rare opportunity, but with JWST, we're bridging the gap between what we know and what lies beyond. So, let's address the issue. When it comes to missions like New Horizons and exploring planets further from the Sun, the challenge lies in prioritizing resources. Why invest significant funds in studying a single planet when there could be potential life forms elsewhere? Why venture to the outer reaches of the solar system? These questions certainly hit home. However, the New Horizons mission marked a pivotal moment in space exploration history. Not only did it pave the way for NASA to further investigate Pluto using cutting-edge technology like JWST, but it also officially recognized Pluto as a scientifically significant world. In Pluto's case, it serves as a cornerstone for expanding our knowledge of other small planets. Despite residing in a cold, dark corner of the universe, the groundbreaking clarity of the first real images of Pluto's surface revealed it to be an active player in our solar system. As the saying goes, a picture is worth a thousand words. So, what story do NASA's crystal clear images of Pluto tell us? Let's start with the basics. Did you know that Pluto has a heart? It's true. The most striking geological feature on this dwarf planet originates from its heart, scientifically known as the Sputnik Planum. In a fascinating twist, NASA discovered that Pluto quite literally follows its heart. A quick look at NASA's high-resolution images reveals a heart that's white, cold, and seemingly frozen. This heart, known as the Sputnik Planum, spans a whopping million square miles and is composed of nitrogen ice. Remarkably, this geological phenomenon played a key role in reorienting Pluto's spin axis, a process scientists refer to as true polar wonder. Before this mission, NASA had no inkling that Pluto's basin lay opposite to its largest moon, Charon. So, what does this reorientation signify for the planet? Simply put, the heart, or Sputnik Planum, dictates the tidal axis between Charon and Pluto. In essence, the heart's influence has aligned Pluto's basin more closely with the tidal axis. We've long understood that Pluto is uninhabitable for various reasons. However, what came as a surprise is that the massive ice sheet alone isn't responsible for its significant reorientation. While the thick, expansive ice glacier carries substantial mass, it's not the sole factor causing Pluto to tilt or generating strong tidal forces. Remember when we mentioned how technologically advanced explorations could reshape our understanding of cosmic history? Well, this revelation underscores that point. Scientists have uncovered that Pluto harbors its own ocean beneath its thick ice sheets and glacier-covered surface. This discovery is groundbreaking as it fundamentally alters our perception of the planet. The presence of an ocean within Pluto's crust not only sheds light on its origins, but also elevates its status alongside other oceanic worlds like Titan, Enceladus and Europa. If Pluto can join the ranks of these previously discovered worlds, it's truly remarkable. It's too early to determine whether Pluto's ocean could support life. But the discovery of water in celestial bodies like Enceladus has sparked discussions about habitable oceans within our solar system. This line of exploration delves into the possibility of extraterrestrial life. Are we alone in this vast expanse? 
It's a question that NASA has yet to answer definitively. But the agency acknowledges that the absence of evidence doesn't dismiss the possibility entirely. We do know that Saturn's moon Enceladus shows some potential for life due to its phosphorus-rich oceanic water. NASA's Cassini mission reignited interest in the search for other forms of life in space or astrobiological existences. Phosphorus plays a crucial role as one of the fundamental building blocks of DNA and RNA. Despite these promising indications, how can we be certain that Pluto lacks habitability? Even with the most detailed images of Pluto's crust, we still lack conclusive data about the nutrients in its oceanic water. The technology needed to make such discoveries isn't currently available, but NASA continues to invest in studying ice-encased planets. While Pluto may not provide answers in this regard just yet, it offers insights in various other ways. Another groundbreaking discovery that challenged our understanding of distant planets is Pluto's unique type of volcano. Pluto boasts its own form of lava, which is icy cold, slushy, and maintains temperatures near zero degrees Celsius. NASA's images reveal fractures on the surface of the former planet, providing evidence of a phenomenon known as cryovolcanism. Essentially, these images confirm the presence of cold, slushy material flowing across Pluto's surface. The extrusion and subsequent solidification of this icy liquid contribute to the formation of distinct physiographic and geological characteristics on the dwarf planet. This discovery wasn't merely a speculative guess. Remember Pluto's heart, also known as the Sputnik Planum? This intriguing glacier-like feature hosts two notable mountains in its southern regions, Reitmons and Picardmons. Through missions like New Horizons, scientists gained a closer examination of these mountain ranges. Notably, both Wright and Picardmons display deep central craters on their surfaces, indicating the potential presence of cryovolcanoes, another fascinating aspect of Pluto's geological landscape. However, Pluto continued to unveil more surprises. Further exploration around the Sputnik Planum revealed evidence of ice volcanoes in its western region, known as the Viking Terror. This section of the dwarf planet exhibited deep fractures and graben formations, likely carved by the once flowing ice cold lava. It appears that NASA thoroughly investigated various aspects before speculating about cryovolcanoes on Pluto. In addition, Pluto's largest moon, Charon, presented its own revelations. Not only did Charon exhibit signs of a volcanic history, but it also suggested the presence of subsurface oceanic water. Remarkably, this discovery elevates Charon's significance among planetary satellites, despite not being classified as a planet itself. Previously, Charon may not have held as much scientific importance as moons like Saturn's Enceladus or Uranus's Miranda and Ariel. However, it now joins the ranks of moons essential for NASA's exploration of icy worlds. We understand that our solar system extends far beyond what we traditionally consider its outermost planets. However, for NASA to plan extensive exploratory missions or adjust existing ones like New Horizons, it requires increasingly detailed data on icy celestial bodies. Pluto and Charon serve as captivating sources of information in this regard. In examining them, the Moon's physical features have proven exceptionally useful. The high-resolution images from Charon reveal a stark contrast in terrain across its surface. While the southern region boasts a plain known as Vulcan Planum, the northern pole presents a rugged landscape called Oz Terra. This stark differentiation is no mere coincidence. NASA recognizes that each geological aspect of moons in our solar system offers unique insights. Moreover, the consistent freezing and expansion observed on Charon's surface indicates something significant. The moon likely harbors its own subsurface ocean. It's remarkable how much we can glean about our universe simply from analyzing these images. However, the revelations don't end there. NASA's visual evidence also reveals that Pluto boasts its own unique dunes, distinct from those found on Earth. At first glance, this might seem perplexing. After all, 
Pluto is commonly regarded as a large icy sphere with weak gravity, a thin atmosphere and a frozen surface. Yet, despite these characteristics, it has managed to form numerous dunes. Similar to its volcanoes, Pluto's dunes are a testament to its intriguing geological features. These dunes consist of layers of methane-infused ice particles eroded from the Sputnik Glacier. This discovery merely scratches the surface of our understanding of the dwarf planet. With the advent of the James Webb Space Telescope, we find ourselves at the forefront of space exploration. The notion of Pluto as a dormant planet is quickly becoming obsolete, thanks to NASA's detailed visual documentation of its recently unveiled geological formations. Clearly, we're on the brink of significant discoveries. Thank you for joining us on this captivating journey through the mysteries of space exploration. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below. For more fascinating content on science, technology, and the wonders of the universe, make sure to turn on notifications so you never miss an update. See you in the next video. See you in the next.